and the interconnecting strands won't lose their elasticity. And that's how you make a homemade hairnet. Yeah, that's great, Dad. But what we asked was, why are you wearing that helmet? Oh, sorry. I can't hear you that well. I'm wearing a helmet. You're probably wondering why. You see, your mother sent me to buy myself some exercise equipment, and I was going to get an exercise bike, but I thought I'd need a helmet first. For an exercise bike? No, for the exercise bike. I tried this one on, and guess what? It was too small, and you couldn't take it off, so you had to buy it, or they wouldn't let you leave the store? No, it was too small, so I couldn't take it off, and I had to buy it, or they wouldn't let me leave the store. Huh? Huh, what are you doing there? Sorry, that was getting really annoying. Hmm, so, I can't hear very well, and I have extremely limited peripheral vision. You kids want to hop in the car and go for a drive? Absolutely not. Great, let's go grab some lunch. Shouldn't we do something about that? Out the trash! Mm, you're right. There! Now we can hear the TV again. Hmm, it's so quiet today. Hardly any traffic on the roads. <laughs> Shame about all these potholes, though. Uh, a parking spot right outside Joyful Burger! <laughs> Right here, I'll get lunch. <laughs> For the last time, Bill, this is a bank, not a dating agency. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is really happening. <laughs> Remember what they told us, Larry. Employees can be replaced, money can't. Oh, forget the training. We're being robbed. We're being robbed. <gasps> hmm. Must be someone's birthday. Everybody, throw your hands in the air. <laughs> ah! Okay, you have a choice to make. Ah, heck. Let's just make this easier for both of us. I'll take everything you got. Uh, how do you want that, sir? Uh, just in the normal brown bags is fine. <laughs> Don't be a hero, Larry. I'm not being a hero. Just give him what he wants, Larry. Don't be a hero. I'm not. <laughs> Okay, sir, that's everything. Pleasure doing business with you, gentlemen. Don't do it, Larry. Don't press the alarm. Don't be a hero. <laughs> what is your problem? What do you think you're doing? Oh, yeah. It reminds me. We need to settle up. No, 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 please don't. Okay. <laughs> what a great day. We got a free lunch, roads are all quiet, even you two are behaving yourselves. So even though Larry is screaming like a baby, I managed to keep a cool head. I said to the robber, if you're gonna hurt these citizens, you're gonna have to come through me first. Wow, so brave. I'm gonna make sure the mayor gives you a medal for this. Uh, that's not actually what hey, I... We're gonna get to your cowardly ramblings in a second. Don't let this man bother you, sir. Please continue. Then Larry handed over all the money and the guy ran off. If you ask me, Larry was a bit too cooperative. Say, I think this was an inside job. Eh, what do I know? I'm just a hero. I've heard enough. Arrest this man! Case closed. Uh, Chief, we don't have the money. Or the man who took it. I'm reopening the case! Okay, boys, I want roadblocks here, here, and here. But you do realize that's a map of Paris. Like I said, we think he's gonna skip the country, most likely to Paris. Beautiful city, Chief. City of love. Why aren't you out there catching this guy? Sir, please, don't make us give you another full body search. Uh, Chief, take a look at the TV. <laughs> if it's that video of the owl riding the llama, I've seen it. No, that. And now, a breaking story. A bank robber is making his getaway. Normally, we would call it a high-speed police chase, but the police haven't really started following him yet, so at the moment, it's more of a leisurely drive. 